I went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out so I wanted to see how many abortions are done a year right and what I was able to see and this was the last time in 2019 there were 630 thousand abortions right under that a little bit under that but around 630,000 abortions were done in the u.s alone which makes around 1,726 abortions done a day my god my god that shook me to the core that's scary as hell to know because if you really think about it deeper, that means more than 500,000 people in the U.S. would have been born on this earth if they wasn't aborted. 500,000 plus babies would have been born. I didn't know it was that dramatic. Now, I knew a lot of them happened, but I didn't know it was that dramatic because you already know um, a lot of people have skeletons. A lot of people have things that other people do not know. But you know what it says in the Bible was done in the dark will come to the light. And now that we're seeing. This law now being brought back up, Supreme Court making a decision and them canceling Rob v. Wade, it, it, at least for now. You see hundreds of thousands of people out there protesting, and it's almost like you're seeing people. Skeletons coming out and what was in the dark is now being shown in the light. I just wanted to point that out. Look, man, I mean, I, t today a little bit, I'm going to play devil's advocate. You know what I'm saying? Or you know what? It may not be the devil's advocate. It could be God's advocate, you know, for a minute. It depends on how you look at this, even though I'm personally not for it or against it when it comes down to this. I'm not for it. I'm not, I, I'm not against it. I don't really care. If it's a it's a um, a law that's passed or it's not passed, you know, this is uh, it's not like I say, I, I don't have a dog in this fight, you know, but I'm not going to speak on it, you know, um, because I believe men should have something to say. Rather, the ladies like it or not, you know, because women have something to say, even if it's something that it's a man topic or a man discussion. Women always got something to say. So men should have to, something to say about these things as well, because, I mean, let's be real abortions and things happen with men being involved so men should have something to say um but like i said i would not personally vote for or against it right um i am pro leave it to god and what happens will happen because that's what god want to happen right um but let's talk about this for a second if you really want to break this law down it's really irrelevant to be protesting and fighting about and everything like that and i'm talking about just logic and reality right it's really irrelevant because no matter what you still have the choice to use contraceptions nobody took away your right to use contraceptions it's really up to you i mean in fact contraceptions is much more beneficial for women than men there are only two contraceptions for men, which is a vasectomy and a condom, right? But there are over 20 different contraceptions for women. I mean, come on. Shouldn't men be complaining about this as well? I'm just saying, and I'm not saying some aren't or aren't. I'm just saying the women out there have a lot of different avenues to go in outside of let me just go to a clinic and do what I got to do to have an abortion. It's a lot of different directions you could go in. So if you look at it from a logic and reality point of view, it's really an irrelevant law. Rather, it's put into place or not. Because nobody is telling you to do anything with your body. They're just saying, if it get to this level, if it get to this place, don't come crying to us deal with it you know what i'm saying and there's other situations that you can have happen from that you don't have to keep the baby you can give the baby up for adoption a lot of different things you could do so they just say look it's not our problem deal with it you chose to fill goal post those legs and 
you chose to say, I don't need no contraceptions. So now you have to be okay with the consequences that come from it. That's basically what they're saying, right? You know what I'm saying? I had to show them that I was a man. I thank God.